The Navy has unveiled a new secret weapon that developers call it a rail gun. This new high-tech weapon is smaller, cheaper, and more destructive. And as David Martin reports, it could dramatically change the way America fights wars. Fire. Propelled by an electromagnetic pulse, the projectile comes out of the barrel in a fireball of molten metal. Traveling at seven times the speed of sound, as fast as going from Washington, D.C. to Philadelphia in three minutes, the projectile sheds its steel cladding and destroys whatever it smashes into. In this case, a dummy warhead from an incoming missile. Seven times the speed of sound. And oh, by the way, we can probably carry, oh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these on our ships. Just because they're so small? They're so small. Does this mean that gunpowder is a thing of the past? It may mean exactly that, David. According to Rear Admiral Matthew Clunder, Chief of Naval Research, the railgun is also dirt cheap compared to the multi-million dollar cost of today's missiles. That projectile costs about one one-hundredth of the cost of one of our traditional missiles. What does this cost? This costs right here about $25,000. There's an electronic guidance system inside so it can be fired at moving targets. This gun and the projectile round take care of any threat that flies in the sky. It could be a ballistic missile, it could be a cruise missile, it could be a threatening aircraft. Traveling at Mach 7, it can also pierce three walls of reinforced concrete. This is a lab gun, and it shoots a slug about this big. So think about that, a slug that big. A slug that big going Mach 7 puts a hole through six half-inch steel plates this big. Just this little slug. Went through all of these? All six of those. The railgun is scheduled to go to sea for the first time in 2016 aboard this cargo ship for further testing. It's still just a potential weapon, but one that could break the seemingly endless cycle of each new generation being more expensive than the last. For CBS This Morning, David Martin at the Naval Research Laboratory. I mean, promising, but also incredibly yeah. scary. Yeah, I miss the science behind it, but... Very impressive. Yeah, the Navy ain't and playing. Scary. The Navy ain't playing. It's good to know that we have it. I just hope we never have to use yeah, it. Yeah, the Rear Admiral seemed proud of it, didn't yes, he? Yes, he really did. He did. Mm -hmm. Going from Washington, D.C. to Philadelphia in three, three minutes. minutes. Cut through six half inch steel plates. Incredible.